Hello, I'm Paul Holt, CEO of Class On Demand. Class On Demand creates the best training in the world for digital content creators. What you're about to see is a segment from a complete tutorial. When it's over, I'll tell you how you can purchase the complete training at a discounted price. So enjoy today's free lesson, and I'll see you again soon. For a chroma key, and that's just a shot of this girl, and there's a couple of things that we need to look at on this. So let's double click this, and you'll see that our photographer actually comes in here on the shot, so we need to get rid of that as well as we need to key her over a different background. Now a chroma key, folks, for the, for the people that are just getting new to this, is the same technique that they use as the weatherman. And he's usually standing in front of a green or a blue screen, and what they do is they eliminate the background and replace it artificially with something electronic, either a still or a video. Let's drop Devin on our overlay track. And your overlay track is a track that's automatically created when you try to drop this key on your text track. This little track here is an extra track that you have now uh, called an overlay track. Let's just go grab a photo and let's just put her right over a still photo to start with. And this could be moving video, it can be anything, but I'm just going to use this for right now. All right, the first thing that we want to do is select the Devon clip. Let's go into our toolbox, and what we want to do is go into our overlay track. That's what this is. Notice how that looks exactly the same as this little, uh, little picture here. So select that. We can use picture and pictures, and we can also scale and crop, uh, as well as the chroma key. So the first thing that we would want to do is we would want to go full screen. And what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click a key color because we want to clip the green area out. Select this little eyedropper here because what we want to do is we want to select that. We're going to click in an area that represents the background, a good area that represents this. So let's click on the green and you can see that instantly we get a background that's showing through. Now you can see here that this is what's called a mat or a key channel and this gives you a real good representation of what's being left and what's being cut away. The white or the mat is actually what you're seeing here. So now you have a little bit of uh, adjustment here that allows you to go through this. So like when she's going, you can see a little bit of edge on her right here. So what we may want to do is we may want to bring up or bring down our minimum saturation and our spill suppression. And what we want to do is bring up our softness just a little bit. Now the other thing that we can do is because of the fact that we have our guy walking into the shot here, we can also use our crop tool to actually crop him out. As long as he doesn't walk in front of her, that's what the crop tool is great for. So let's go to picture and picture, select crop, and then what we're going to do is just crop this little edge here, and you'll see that he's actually cropped out of there. Okay, as soon as I lift up, it'll update. And as long as she doesn't walk past this cropped area, you won't see our guy anymore. So let's play this back. You're seeing that it's background rendering right now. And if we zoom in here a little bit using our plus arrow, you'll see that the reason she's on black right now is because we have the picture doesn't quite cover up the entire left hand side here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and move it over. And now it fills it up and you can see that she's over a background here. Now what's kind of neat is the fact that you can position her wherever you want or you can actually rescale her. If now that she's in there, let's go ahead and select this and let's hit scale. We could actually make her smaller, right? And you can see this little edge here. If you go into crop, you can actually crop that out just before you get to her, okay? And then once you're done, is you can go ahead and move her around wherever you want on the screen. And when she's playing back here, let's go ahead and hit play. You can see that she's talking over that background. That's pretty cool, folks. And this can be a live video. Let's go ahead and interchange this with a live video. Let's hit, let's turn this off. Let's go back in and grab another video. A guy on a cell phone here. Okay drop the video right there. Let's move it over. Once again, you can see that she's part of this video now. Hello again. So if you found this lesson valuable, imagine what you could learn from the entire training. 
So please visit our website at classondemand.net to order the training and also to view our entire product catalog. When you're checking out, enter the product code below for a 10% discount. It's that simple. So once again, on behalf of Class On Demand, I'm Paul Holtz. Thanks for watching.